Yeah, Genji felt the need. All right, I'm gonna go present myself to the enemy team. Hi. Hey guys, it's Bro you Wack, and welcome back to another spectating bronze video. It seemed like you guys really enjoyed the last one, but my plan is not to bring it every single day. You know, I'm still gonna bring it with my normal videos, so come by tomorrow if you wanna spectate more bronze videos, because I'm posting a funny moments of myself playing. Somebody commented in last video saying every time you post is like watching a bronze player. Thanks. Thanks! Well, I thought maybe once a week we could do a spectating bronze video along with my ranking videos, funny moments, normal commentaries. You know, I like to do everything in Overwatch, including suck at it. Which is why I'm qualified to critique this bronze level diva. Not just a reminder, this is all supposed to be for fun, and if you get offended at me poking fun at this diva, don't. They are subjecting themselves to the possible roast, to the possible make fun of -ness. Is. And also just to have fun man. This is the whole point of the series is to have fun And that's one thing bronze players love to do is have fun But also one thing that diva bronze players love to do is get fat diva bombs because for whatever reason Bronze players don't know what the run button is and I love that they always give fun uh -huh. So this is one thing that I realize with bronze level people is that they see abilities and feel the need to use them as soon as they have them. That Genji felt the need. All right, I'm gonna go present myself to the enemy team. Okay. Is something wrong with the enemy Rodog? Why did he just stand there? Like I get it, he's trying to build ultimate charge, but you can also do that by like, I don't know, doing damage. You know, I'm over here supposed to be critiquing the D.Va. I should be critiquing the Rodog and the Lucio's running away. Where is he running to? Like, <laughs> like, what's his plan there? Doesn't matter. You're not going deep into the enemy back line. You're not going to be feeding like how this Genji is. Maybe you are going to be feeding. What are you? Why, why are you continuous? I guess you're trying to dive the Lucio that's by himself, which isn't a bad idea. Listen, listen, listen. I gotta see what my mans is doing. He is on a mission right now. They got a two-for-one special at KFC or something. So he's just standing there menacingly. He's doing a little flank, but at his back line. And he just ignores you. This guy's a Chad, bro. <laughs> like, where is he going? We're gonna go back to D.Va. What's his plan? What's the auto doing? <laughs> you can't even see the auto, though. But what's the Junkrat doing in the back? Oh, shit. He's fighting. <laughs> what is the Rodon doing? Are these people just broken? You guys heard of broken heroes. Have y'all ever heard of broken people? <laughs> Me. I'm broken inside. Let's continue on. Okay, so Roadhog. Go! Go! You, I, I don't play PC a lot, but you can press W and just go. Hi, how are you? What? <laughs> the tracer's not even... This is what I mean. Bronze players love to have fun. The enemy tracer is not- <laughs> Yo, I don't care what's going on at the pale. This is the party right here, boy. <laughs> so we got the the Ada and the tracer. Junkrat sucks, bro. And the Roadhog's just standing still. Dude, this- <laughs> We got a chill no kill lobby in competitive, bro. This is the first that I've ever seen it. This is awesome. This is so wholesome. The Sombra, the, the enemy Sombra. Well, I guess technically you're a Sombra and the enemy Roadhog are on top. Oh, this is how babies are made. Aww. Well, this is not how babies are made. This is how, why, why are you spinning? Stop. Stop. Ah! We're done. We're done. Go back to the diva. That's who we're critiquing here. Okay, so what's going on here? Did you guys finally get the payload while the enemy team was throwing? Because you better have. <laughs> Grant, I guess you guys had two people throwing, but bro. Why is the payload moving, bro? Who's who's over here contest? It takes that long? It takes that long for the gate to open? The Roadhog is still spinning. This is bronze. No wonder you guys can't climb out of bronze. It's because people give up. Not because the team is throwing, but because they figure that's more fun than playing the actual video game. So, Diva. Just get the Lucio! Dive it or get- You know what? Just place your Diva Bomb right there. Just place it. Go! Come on! This is the one time you're getting hooked by the- At least you know Defense Matrix. This is painful, man. This is why I say bronze on console, it, it's a different breed, man. It's completely different. So, Defense Matrix to May. Don't let her just dead to rights. Don't go after the Roadhog. That's your counter. Focus the Junkrat that is presenting him on a silver plate. Not now go after the Roadhog. Just go get him. Okay, so you at least reckon. They nanned out! Yo, that auto's a real one! <laughs> okay, yeah, just go after her. 
Okay, so the tracer should. What's going on? Am I missing something? Okay, so go kill the Ana. She's low. Please, Diva, you go boop him off. Just do something, please. <laughs> this whole entire game is confusing me, bro. I didn't think we would have a chill, no care. Like, listen, you might think that like this happens all the time quick and no, it doesn't. No, no, it does not. There's at least one person that has to ruin the fun that is a top 500 Genji. Clearly, we don't have that. But I, the enemy team's not even give this junk rat, man. <laughs> This Junkrat and Lucio are the only people that are trying. This is probably, I don't want to say the worst bronze lobby I've ever seen because I've only seen two, but the Rodok is just throwing. He's not even, like, he's trying to get you, but, like, is the Rodok okay? Does he need to talk? You guys at least got the point, but <laughs> you guys should not be struggling this hard. They have two people throwing compared to your one which is the tracer you should be demolishing them especially you as, as diva just dive somebody okay just dive dive not the roadhog <laughs> dude this this roadhog's got a vendetta against you <laughs> this roadhog probably just hates feminism hates women i'm not even really critiquing the way that you're playing i'm just confused everyone's just standing around <laughs> How do you how does how do you let this happen? How does an honest sleep someone in bronze? All right, Batista's healing. Everyone's he healed, so go and get some old charge or something, Batista. Don't don't be just wasting time. Here comes the Genji. Baby. Our pride and joy. Did you just forget the Genji? Diva, you. People are just letting people walk past each other. No wonder y'all can't get out of this rank. At least you were sensible to dive after the person that was standing still. And then get the Lucio. Cool, cool, cool. Try to melee them as soon as you make contact with them because that just gives you extra damage. I mean, you're running into them, which is good. That's something that I even didn't realize that you could do as D.Va. Doing, like, what, 30 damage by flying into people? It adds up. Okay, so go get the, go get him. Go get him. Yeah, good, good, good D.Va. Good D.Va. Don't fire into his deflect. Okay, so you should focus the Genji because cool he has no cooldown abilities. Don't, don't worry about what's in front. Focus on who's on. Wait, here's the Diva Bob. Here's the Diva Bob. Did you get anybody? You got the enemy Diva Mac. Okay, so I was wrong. Maybe you don't get fat Diva Bombs. Listen, I get it that we all can't be like LeBron James and, and try to like shoot the Diva Bombs, but maybe you should practice that. That's really easy to do in practice. Also, please just get somebody. The Diva, the Lucio, the Genji, the Diva that's frozen. Okay, you're at least getting the Diva that's frozen. That's good. But don't give up on a target. Like they're low. Why would you shoot an enemy, get them half, and then focus on someone who's full health? Like, that's like finishing, uh, like, like, half a taco, and then going to Pizza Hut. That just doesn't make any sense. That analogy didn't make sense. So, okay, so, finish the diva. Go, go, yes, good girl, good girl. Don't let her get away, because she's going to get healed. The enemy team is going to get a bunch of heal charge. Get the diva! Okay, fat diva bomb incoming. How do you get two Diva Bombs and get nobody? Well, I guess you are just bronze and you're just placing it, but like, okay, so get get the get the Lucio. They're half. Focus the Lucio. Rocket them. Rocket barrage them. Okay, so he ran away. Don't get squished by the Diva. Focus the Diva. Get him half health. I'm at a loss for it. Have you even gotten a kill? You got one, the junk rat. <laughs> I just realized that nobody's really dying. Because nobody wants to get kills. Everyone wants to live. Granted, yeah. Where's... You know what? You, we forgot my pride and joy, Roadhog. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? They left. <laughs> they left. <laughs> it's a 3v4. Why are you not winning? Granted, yeah. You are missing some teammates, but it's a 3v4. What are you doing? No, no, go back. No, no, no stop. I, uh, maybe I need some coaching on how to control this. Are you going to... Kill somebody? It seems like the enemy Genji is killing- See, Bronze kind of portrays that Overwatch is not really a team-based game. It's a game where if you're good, you're not going to be at Bronze. Everyone in Bronze is in a race and everyone is losing. And somehow you did not capture the point. How? This is why people in bronze do not get out of bronze because they don't want to get better. Once you decide, hey, I want to get better, just by say, just say that to yourself and you'll get into silver. I promise you. But how do you get better? 
Get better aim. That's it. All right, so now you're playing Symmetra. I would say Symmetra is not the greatest pick here, but again, you can literally play any hero in bronze and do good. As long as you say, I don't want to be in bronze anymore. Like literally tell yourself that. That's like Dorothy and what is it? The, the, the magic tree house. No place like home, no place like home, no place like home. And she went back home. There's no place like silver. There's no place like silver. There's no place like silver and you're in silver. That's literally how it works. That's the cheat code. Why did you just, why did you do that? Why, why do you go on top of the building just to go on the bottom of the building? This is why I say bronze players don't have a sense of direction. They just do things to do things. They walk wherever the wind takes them. They use their abilities whenever they have them. They use ultimates in situations that look tasty. Are they actually? How are you not dead by that man? Oh, wait, because she's, she's your mate. Why did they may wall you off from the enemy Genji? Hey, how have you still not killed this Lucio? This Lucio's a real MVP. Your turrets have more kills than you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> this is so sad. The Genji and the Lucio are just not dying. And somehow, they're probably going to get more kills than you and push the payload and make it very, very close. But, man, the, the, the message that they left me on Twitch said, you want to see some real bad bronze gameplay? And, like... Everyone says like, oh, I have bad gold gameplay. Oh, I'm bad in, in Grandmaster. They weren't kidding. This is different. <laughs> it's not even like, listen, they're not like god awful. They're making Psych. contact. They died. Okay, so maybe they are god awful. You're at least hitting your shots, but you just like, again, this is the same issue with the last game. You don't have a sense of direction. Like, do I literally need to give you a recipe for how to craft a map in over Minecraft watch? I will say this though. I am very happy that you guys have not let them move the payload because even if you let them move it an inch, I would be very confused on- Where did that kill come from? <laughs> you were not, and don't even say you were aiming for the Genji because I I know you were. You were aiming for that D.Va and they ran away. Okay, that's you, you couldn't have gotten them because they ran away. But where did that Genji come from to you achieving the kill? Get, get him again. You're his kryptonite, so is the Mei, but go get him. Go get him. I'm not gonna lie. The placement of that shield is pretty good. That death, though, on the other hand. <laughs> See, I'm not a good Symmetra main to be able to identify where to place the shield. I just kind of rotate it vertically so that I can dance between it, kind of like how Winston does it. But, I mean, it's a 3v4. Just place the shield wherever, you're probably going to get protection. <laughs> I legit didn't think there were people like this in competitive. Because this is competitive. It doesn't show right there, but this is competitive where people just, like, don't. Like, I'm not even saying don't even try. They just, like, don't. They don't move. They don't play. They don't try, they don't do good, like they literally just don't, it, it amazes me. You at least have a sense of, of like knowing when you need to like defend, it's like okay, you know that they're making progress, which I don't know how, and also, thank you for finally getting the Lucio, I'm proud of you. Now kill the Genji, man, I haven't said anything, but that's bothering me. They're in your back line, just firing shurikens, I don't know how you're not dead. Come on, come on, just, oh no, oh no, here comes the fat diva bomb that I was talking about. See what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I like I still get squished by Diva, but don't run up to the just the, the old to Diva. So now you're playing Ash. I'm interested to see how good your aim is because my aim on PC or, or and, and, and console is not that great. But you at least are able to identify when to push yourself away. So that's good. You have a sense of defense. Really good. Uh, but going back to the Diva, guys, just realize what comes up must come down. A diva bomb goes up, which I was surprised they actually tossed it. A diva bomb must come back down. And maybe you're into like BDSM and like being squished and stepped on. Not here, okay? Just, just, just don't. Okay, so we're gonna cut diva out of your regiment and also cut Symmetra and put you straight onto Ash because that shot was tasty. I know it might seem like I'm hyping up their aim, but you guys just don't realize how just critical in bronze having decent aim. Not god like aim, decent aim is because getting kills means getting wins. And that's just like at every single level. If you get kills, you get wins. And the best way to do that is play DPS here. Shoot somebody. Oh wait, you're the red. I forgot. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, that's good. 
You missed? That's alright. We all miss shots every now and then. So you have a 50-50. Okay, you missed one, you missed two. That, that's fine. Hit the big girl. Yeah, hit the big girl. She's just wasting her, her time with you and giving you old charge. So you got a good diva uh, TNT. Don't shoot the payload. You can't shoot the payload. Just move. Shift yourself. Okay? So, I mean, you are hitting your shots. I'm actually amazed by that. And I might seem like I'm being sarcastic. No. Because you, you'd be surprised at how... Just shoot the Lucio. Shoot him! Okay, never mind. Take, I take that back. No, 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 no. What are you... What are you... What are you doing? What are you looking at? Okay, don't shoot the deflecting Genji. Whenever you see the green play, that means he's deflecting. What is your mate ulting? Why have you not shot the Lucio that was right there? That is really bothering me. I get it. He's scary. He's bouncy. But just don't give up. If he jumps once, that doesn't mean you should give up. Just because he's pressing the X. You actually hit that shot? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Out of the ass. Go. Yeah. You're not playing Diva anymore. You're now an Ash main. I've declared it. As soon as you get enough competitive rewards because it's so easy and you're going to climb up all the way to gold because you're only maining Ash now, get the Ash Gold Gun and the Ash Gold Bob. You need to shoot the Lucio, though. If you kill the Lucio, I will literally... Like follow you on Twitter right now, but you gotta kill the Lucio, not the Diva, not the Genji. Shoot him! I don't know how the Lucio's missing you. Come on, you could do it. Who are you going after? It seems like you're lost. Just send Bob. It's overtime. You don't need to aim for the ground. Where if you aim in the sky, he will still go directly forward. Okay, so you kill the you, Bob killed the Lucio before you did. I get it. He's a bouncy boy, but that doesn't mean you should just give up, never surrender, and also kill your competition. Just shoot it! Just shoot her, man! Or just melee her. I don't care. What the fudge was this game? That was probably the funniest game I've ever spectated, because I didn't know there were people like this that just stopped playing. Well, we originally started spectating D.Va, which is why I have this getup, which now I kind of feel stupid. Then we watched the Symmetra gameplay, which was actually pretty decent. Mainly because you had abilities that did work for you, but then you played your brand new main Ash, and you you got a lot of shots actually. Like, I'm not even gonna front. Bob got more kills than you, but again, you had an ability that does work for you. So here's a little tip, just for anybody watching: get good aim if you want to get to silver. Clack your heels three times. And just use abilities that do work for you. Symmetra, Torbjorn, Bob even. Those are all great choices. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to send in your bronze gameplay, send it to me on Twitter. I, I don't know how you can send it. Like, I'll maybe make a video explaining how to do it in the future. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More of our videos to come. And bye.